What up, YouTube subscribers? I had a couple questions on my setup on my Picatel Nano Reef. Um, before I start, actually, bad news. My shrimp died. Um, I found a huge worm. I have no idea what kind of worm it was, but it had thousands and thousands of legs. It was, like, green, a little red. It was, like, neon colors, but it was just completely wrapped around the shrimp and devoured him. All that was left was the antennas. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if, if it was my fault or if the worm killed it, but um, I checked the waters this morning. It was all right. The salinity was a little low, so I had to add extra salt, but um, other than that, everything's good now. I'm just going to keep it to a coral tank with the the hermit crabs and the, the snails. Um, but yeah, on to the, the setup video. I'm using the Picato. Uh, three gallon. Sorry, the filter thing was off. Um, I'm running the Picotope three gallon, and that means it comes with the tank itself. This filter, I think it's an 80 gallon per hour filter. Um, it comes with all the filter media, but of course, with a salt water tank, you don't need all that filtration with the carbon, blah blah blah. Um, I, now that I took it, put it back on, I can't take it off, but uh, uh it, I'm just running some bio balls. Uh, I bought the Biomate solid media balls. I can use this for, you know, both planted tanks and saltwater tanks, so that's good. Um, that was about, I think, 12 bucks. Um, and a after the filter, it, the Picotope again comes with a telescope telescoping light fixture. Now, this light fixture is both good and bad. Um, it's good, 9 watt, you know, comes with both blue and white. Um, now, the only problem, if you adjust your light very often, um, the fixture becomes weak and it just kind of droops in certain spots, um, but, uh, you know, if you, if you just leave it be and figure out your setup early on, that's better, it won't, it won't break, I, I've, I've changed this tank so many times, so... I've had to readjust the lighting, where the light needs to be. I mean, it's able to, you know, you're able to light up just the back if you want, but uh, I have all my corals in the front, so I have to push that out as far as possible. Um, so, yeah, that's what comes with the Picotope. Uh, it did not come with thermometer, nothing else, just the filter, tank, and the light. So, that was awesome. It was 41 bucks, free shipping. I'll post the link. I think it was free shipping. Forgive me if, if I'm wrong, but um, I'm really, really pleased about the tank. Highly recommend it. It's an awesome desktop um, desktop aquarium or tank, um, especially at the price. Especially, look at this bow front, guys. You know, that's pretty deadly looking. That's awesome with the little trim at the bottom. You know, it's a really clean look. Um, it's professional looking for such a small, small aquarium. You know, compare that to just a regular old two and a half, you know. This is awesome. This is straight awesome. Um, so yeah, um, moving on. I have the high door. I think it's a 25 watt. It was around 24 bucks. Um, I know it's quite expensive, but uh, it was small. Much, much smaller than this other crazy marine land filter, which is like pretty much the length of the two and a half. Um, this, this hydro would take up about, mm, half, half or so of this tank, and they're, they're both the same width, so, um, yeah, very pleased. I was gonna put that in the beta, but I didn't want to bother washing it, blah, 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 and it's already been in salt water, so I'm gonna keep it there. Um, moving on, the Hydro Pico, uh, 180, um, awesome, awesome power head. Really small, compact, as you can see, it's, it's like in the corner, barely noticeable just with the red, but um, it was around 26 at my local fish store. Now, you can probably get it for around 15 or so online, um, but I thought, hey, why not? I'm getting some corals. I'll support the local fish store, um, and so I picked it up. Um, it's convenient. So, yeah, so that's about 15 or so, meter 20. Tank itself is about 40. So, so far... The tank is under a hundred dollars. Now this is where it starts to get expensive. Live rock, the sand, the corals. 
Uh, the live rock I got in my local fish store is not Fiji. It's a certain premium live rock, blah, blah, blah. You know how they advertise it. But it's it was like 14, um, maybe 13 or so. Well, I got it on the sale day. But um, generally they sell it at 14 a pound. I got it on, on the Sunday where there's 15% off. Um, all livestock, blah, blah, blah. So I got a nice deal. Um, don't go cheap with your live rock. You want to you want to get some good live rock. I've actually purchased the uh, I think the eight pound forty dollar live rock deal on Petco. dot com, and that live rock was shit. Um, do not buy that. Do not, 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 not. I repeat, do not get that just because of the price. Um, it really looks crappy. Um, you there's n you're not really benefiting from it. Um, with these good, better live rock, better filtration, it even looks better and comes with, look, mine came with sponges all over, it, and it's coloring so beautifully, it makes it look like a, 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 a coral reef, you know, underwater, but the ones from Petco were just, had like stones, it looked like a cement cylinder block that they just stuck in the ocean to get it going, um, do not recommend it. So yeah, moving on, the corals, this is the expensive part, um, if you buy it online, shipping itself is like thirty dollars. Um, if you have a local fish store that you can go to, that's probably better in the end. Um, I got these, this mushroom, and this coral here for twenty, two for ten. That went off a of live aquaria. Uh, I bought that with the Duncan, um, and that itself was about. Oh wait, no, no, no! I did not get that from Live Aquaria. Uh, I got this and this one, the Duncan and this random shitty dead one um, from Live Aquaria. Duncan itself, I, I am blanking, but it was around 20 something. And this thing, I have no idea. Waste of money. It's like dead. But, um, yeah. So it's, it, it's kind of a gamble to buy online. You don't get to see what state it's coming in. Um, so I do definitely recommend going to stores and finding corals you like um, but I highly recommend this setup even if you're going to go with a planet tank or you know something like that um, this tank is awesome guys this tank is awesome really recommend it um, the lighting it may not be suitable for all you guys I mean you can go with the power fluorescent or whatever power compact and put that on here and you can literally grow anything this this lighting is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous i'm i'm gonna get another one for this tank i decided um put the order in on monday get some cash then so um that's what i'm gonna do but overall the setup was pretty cheap um the live rock may have been the most costly with the corals but the tank setup itself is under a hundred dollars so you can go with a planet tank for under a hundred for a desktop and I think with the 9 watt you can do pretty well. Um, it's about three times the, uh, yeah, it's about three watts per gallon. Um, so, yeah, decent lighting, decent filter, and great looking tank. Definitely recommend Picato. And if you're doing salt water, add a couple bucks and you'll get yourself going. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm actually going to start doing product reviews. I think I'm going to start with maybe lights, the lighting I have on all my fixtures, um, so you guys can get a good idea of what kind of lights I'm using, and whether or not, hey, maybe you want to get, get one one day. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Peace.